Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show. Getting us on YouTube, Instagram, TV, on our website, all that great stuff. Coming to you from the home office, from outside of Philadelphia. I got the COVID-19 hair going, COVID-19 beard. Can't wait to restore some normalcy and get back to my barber, like everybody else. So, that being said, I hope everybody is doing well and is safe out there. This is definitely a, a fucked up time. You know, keep saying an unprecedented time. And I'm almost tired of saying that. It's getting to be cliche. So what we've been doing for a lot of businesses is <clears throat> a lot of brick and mortar businesses are asking us, how can I take my brick and mortar store and put it online? You know, it's it's not that difficult to do. It's something that we can definitely do. It's something that we can help with. Anybody can really help with this. You know, we suggest either doing a simple product using the Stripe uh, Gravity Forms interface. You know, you can definitely do that and get take credit cards. But maybe you want to take this opportunity to see into the future and say, if I'm going to put one or two products online, how should I do that? And the answer when, within the WordPress environment is WooCommerce. And WooCommerce is great. WooCommerce, I'll tell you what, I never really used to like WooCommerce, but now WooCommerce has come light years ahead. And it's really easy for you to build a store yourself the documentation is really good. It's very easy for you to latch it on to your WordPress site or spin up with one of the WooCommerce themes that is already set up and ready to go for you. So this is one of those times like <clears throat> all of us are in this together to try and survive. All of us are in this together to try and make something happen. All of us are in this together to really just to fight another day, right? Fight another week, fight another month. So if you can take your brick and mortar presence and put it online, and then use your social media presence. Hopefully you have one or your email list, whatever you have to get in touch with your clients. Let them know that it's up there. Let them know what you're doing. Let them know how you can still support them, their business, their initiatives, their goals. Get them what they need. You know, I think that a lot of us, you know, right now are just needing to think out of the box. And I hate saying that. Think differently. Think bigger. Think better. You know, if you already have an online presence, awesome. Direct everybody to that. Go for it. You know what I mean? Make sure that everything is current. Make sure everything works well. Test, test, test. And, but if you don't have an online presence, you know, with all the, 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 the stay at home orders or shutter in place, whatever they're called, you know, and all the businesses closing, all the non-essential businesses closing, now's a perfect time to build that out. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask us any questions. Get us here on social media. Get us here through the podcast. We'll definitely be able to steer you towards a resource and get you started. Look, we're all in this together. We're here to help give you any kind of knowledge that we have when it comes to this stuff. Just let us know how we can help you and support you. Thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.